Hi, my name is Francis and I'm a naturalist with the East Bay Regional Park District. I'm coming to you from the Nectar Garden at Coyote Hills Regional Park. Today we're going to talk about the wonderful life cycle of the monarch butterfly. This poster will show you a monarch right in the middle, which is an adult, and the multiple stages that it goes through from an egg to a larva or caterpillar, and then to a chrysalis, and then ultimately into an adult butterfly. These are a couple of monarch butterflies feeding on milkweed. You'll also see a chrysalis on the upper left that's green and camouflages well with the milkweed. You see little gold dots on it too, and above on the enclosure side, you'll see a different species called the Anis Wallowtail. It's a horizontal instead of being vertical. Different stages of chrysalises for the monarch include the green early stages and then the black and orange ones will metamorphosize into an adult very soon. You'll also see the milkweed, which the caterpillars have been eating over the course of a couple of weeks until they became, become a large fifth instar larvae and they turn into what we call a J formation. Back to the life cycle poster that I showed you earlier. You'll see the J formation that we saw earlier in the video right above here. That's its fifth instar stage. Before that, it becomes fourth instar, a third instar, which basically means in between molts. It has to molt so that it can get bigger and bigger. And as you remember, it used to be the size of this egg that is about the size of a sesame seed. And over the course of two weeks or so, it eats so much that if we were a baby, a human baby, then we'd get to be the size of a blue whale uh, proportionate to how big this gets until it becomes a chrysalis. You'll also see in about a span of a day and a half or so, the chrysalis forming so that it turns into that green color that we saw in the video along with the gold dots and then over the course of a week and a half to two weeks it turns into an adult butterfly. Now let's see a video on how it does that. It's a time-lapse video so um, it's not in real time but it only takes about a couple of minutes for it to become um, this chrysalis to this butterfly stage. And then over the course of a day or day and a half, it dries out. This one's a little wet still, so I'm gonna put it right here. It probably won't fly, but we'll leave it on a, a flower so they can just hang out there. They have smell receptors on their hands. Well, not their hands, their feet. I just look at my hands, so that's what I said that. This one is still wet, so we're gonna put both of them on a flower where they can dry out for a little bit, girl. Oh man. So when, when it has little spots on the hind wings, it's a, it's a male. When it doesn't have the spots, it's a female. So these are I both feel like females. he's, or she's just making the climb. Like she's really yeah, just she trying to go for thing. it. Yeah, we can let her do that thing. But. Thank you to my friend Carla, who helped me release a couple of monarch butterflies earlier last year. I think what I find most amazing about monarch and butterfly life cycles in general is that in the chrysalis, they release digestive enzymes that allow them to rearrange their cells for the duration that they're within the chrysalis. In the monarch, it's about a week and a half to two weeks. So in that amount of time, they change from this caterpillar to this beautiful adult butterfly. Thank you for joining me in this study and um, looking at the life cycle of monarch butterflies. Uh, in the future, we'll have some more videos, including monarch migration and also how monarchs mate. We'll look forward to seeing you then.